What's up gamers of internet, Heliophobian here and welcome back to a brand new epic video on the gosh darn internet. Of course this is my first video on the entire internet under this name. And although I don't actually have heliophobia, considering the fact that I'm terminally online, you know, uh, I think it's an amazing enough name. This is like my bajillions channel, so I genuinely don't know how long I'm going to be uploading here. It'll be a miracle if it lasts more than like six months, but I guess stuff will happen. Mainly some random commentary crap. And we'll start off today with this video that I recorded like a week and a half ago concerning James Charles and this stupid new article that's been written about him. Hopefully more than like two people enjoyed the video. And since I'm uploading this to the same channel that I've had since 2016 you know if you know me from a different life uh it's not me i would never waste my life still doing youtube so so yeah i'm pretty sure everyone knows who james charles is already he still remains one of the biggest makeup influencers on youtube i wouldn't say an influencer joke here but you know uh, i don't think i'm in the place to do that right now and additionally he has like 24 million More. subscribers than probably i'll ever get charles is still only 24 years old and even before the beauty community imploded in 2021 james charles faced scandal after scandal after scandal i can't imagine destroying your reputation like that early into your life the third that I think everyone remembers at this point is uh, Tati Westbrook and her by sister expose. Expose in very massive quotations by the way. Because the allegations she made about James Charles were like sort of outlandish. And that's probably why she deleted her video. Last month a guy came forward explaining what happened between him and James Charles. And what this guy said was this. That basically he is a straight guy and that James Charles used his money, used his fame to try to... Do it with a straight guy. And apparently that's what James thing is. He likes to go after straight guys, not gay guys. He likes to go after straight guys and turn them gay. Look, I'm still sorry to say, but you know, if James Charles is the one that's converting you out of everyone, you know, uh, I don't think you were fully straight to begin with. And yeah, essentially most people dismissed that 2019 video as like some wine fest because James Charles promoted some rival vitamin brand to her, despite it making sense in the relevant circumstances. So yeah, everyone moved past that and then Tati eventually claimed that it was Jeffree Star's and Shane Dawson's fault. <laughs> May when Jeffrey went on a podcast and denied responsibility for his involvement and placed blame on me, it was both cowardly and defamatory. Last week when Shane issued his statements about his involvement in all of this, I also perceived them as cowardly and defamatory. I am still well within the statute of limitations for bringing a civil action to see- Because I'd love this guy to be the arbiter of my life. <laughs> One time, I laid my cat down on her back. You don't get arrested for the I Whoa. moved her little chicken legs, like, you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just, like, hum- Yes, dead joke, but you know, I literally can't play anything else because YouTube, even at the time these clips were coming out, they were like striking everyone who was playing the clips, either because they were trying to protect Dawson, or they also realized how bad the videos are. If you were around at that time for the drama, the fact that I was going around feeding kids like cookies. Ah, uh, actually, yeah, let's just move past that. I don't want this video taken down as well. James recovered from that controversy from their response to Noble Lies, which basically disproved that entire video that Tati made. And that video still remains a top video on his channel in terms of views. And that was despite their very awful first response, which caused them to lose over 2 million subscribers. Because who knew that crying in the corner isn't really the most effective apology? Oh, James here. Um... I'm currently traveling abroad at the time of filming this, over 400,000 subscribers! Everyone. But what they did in 2021 basically destroyed them, in a way that their career still hasn't recovered from. Because let's just say they did some objectively bad things. I started doing a lot of thinking and reflecting to really try and figure out why I was actually allowing myself to be so reckless in the first place. I'm desperate. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, everyone always has desperation for underage th Anyway, uh, throughout 2021, James Charles was repeatedly being accused of grooming several teenage boys and sending some very questionable messages across Instagram and Snapchat. So this is part two of the James Charles story. So after sending me that first picture of his body, um, explicitly, he sent me multiple after that and I'll post them now. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the f man? No, I'm not gonna watch any more of this. Dozens of allegations were made and pushed by, let's just say, not the most reliable sources, which might be why the upcoming article that I'm gonna be discussing today even exists. But as far as I'm aware, around five or six of them were real, where he was talking to underage boys whilst he was 21 and was either oblivious or intentionally disregarded their age. In both of these situations, 
doing research into these people's public social media profiles would have revealed their true ages and therefore these conversations would have never happened in the first place and obviously no one forgave him this time because he was accused of this sort of stuff like so many times and was given like so many chances that considering that there was concrete proof against him he wouldn't be able to wiggle out of this easily he dropped from his peak of 25.7 million subscribers down to 23.8 million subscribers which you know uh, is still way more than i'm probably ever gonna get and has essentially flatlined from there since there's occasionally subscriber gains and losses where it's quite obvious the channel isn't going anywhere like in terms of growth although it still definitely does put in enough views for james to make a healthy living off of because he averages 1 million views per video which obviously isn't like the 30 or 40 million from like a few years ago but it's still nothing to scoff at or not my voice when i'm trying to make this video look i'm not gonna just stay in bed for two weeks and do like absolutely nothing let me make my youtube videos in peace anyway uh, yeah he was obviously cancelled after he apologized in this video holding myself accountable which he then replaced with this video called an open conversation where he basically just speaks about the controversy whilst they're doing makeup for some reason uh, hey 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 guys uh, I, 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 I groomed people watch me draw around my face and listen to some banger music Dun -dun 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 I don't even know what I was going for and let me just continue where uh, he was dropped from Morphe Cosmetics who actually filed for bankruptcy because you know where uh, the two people that they put faith in their brand with James Charles and Jeffree Star it turned out they probably weren't the best representatives for any brand I mean you could make an argument for James Charles so that it made sense to partner with them but like Jeffree Star from like day one on the internet they've been known as like absolutely insane so I don't even know why they partnered with him or her or them uh, I don't know how this works anymore and James was temporarily demonetized until the open conversation video from which he started uploading regularly again. Many people were calling for him to be arrested and that he had like a gay person privilege, which I am not going to speak on. But instead, let's move on to the present day. Oh wow, five minutes of recording BS yes, that everyone already knows about. After being dropped by Morphe for very good reason, on April the 13th, 2023, James Charles unveiled their own makeup brand known as Painted, alongside some stupid commercial which only reminds me of like that freaking toy story anti-piracy advert except we get a much worse result at the end oh my god bro oh, hell hell no, man. What the and yeah i don't know maybe in their media push to get like more than the six people to buy it because it's bloody james charles and not keanu reeves the women's magazine cosmopolitan which i'm still surprised even exists and that's coming from me who's also surprised that their brand still exists when they've made like twenty five thousand youtube channels each one becoming less successful than the last and i'm guessing people are starting to catch on but that 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 that's besides the point this is definitely my first youtube channel uh, everyone uh, please subscribe but i mean in all actuality this is genuinely my first youtube channel that i still possess access to except that i privated all the amazing stuff that was on there before oh there's a dinosaur right there i guess we have to hunt it oh wait oh shit i already died wow I already died. Uh, I'm at the bottom of the world. But look anyway, the media always loves to do like puff pieces on their left wing friends even if they've done like something horrible because it's an entertainment industry you know uh, they're not really known for making the best people famous for as long as they make their money and look you know uh, despite that even by those standards the, the, this article is not good but anyway uh, the cosmopolitan interview with James Charles was published on July the 13th 2023 and led by Gabriel Bluestone who titled it James Charles would like to be uncancelled please I mean a very good friend from the get go. More than two years after allegations of sexual impropriety. They, they, they were allegations because my guy literally admitted to them in two videos. Sent the superstar beauty YouTuber into influencer purgatory. He's hoping to relaunch himself and his brand with the help of his new makeup line. In a wide ranging interview with Cosmopolitan, Charles talks about effing up and trying to move on. It is the year of our internet 2023, and as surely as the sun rises, an internet celebrity has an apology to make. But here I am sitting in James Charles's end. Casino? Okay, I just checked it. It's someplace in LA. I'm way too poor to ever afford. You're broke! You're poor! Oh.
Man should like a popcorn your priest, ready to take his confession. Let us begin. I don't want to sit here and effing mope and whine and cry because no one wants to hear it. I have to do a lot of thinking like, okay babe, this is your fault. No, you're not a pedophile. No, you're not an effing groomer. No, you're not a predator. But you made a big mistake. Yeah, I think you all loved my James Charles impression there. Also, by the way, the article's claiming those were his exact words, just in case you need to know something I don't know. But anyway, you know what? Uh, considering the amount of allegations made against you, uh, I think I would have to disagree with with your assessment i mean literally one of the guys you went after literally had that he was 16 years old in his bio so you literally didn't even have to do like the most basic research to know his age you literally have to follow someone on instagram where you would see their bio before you were able to message them initially so uh yeah you're bloody stupid and speaking of that you know since there were multiple proven allegations it wasn't you making a mistake uh mistake has a s next to it there's your plural education lesson with <laughs> helio Moving on, the rest is like describing the room because apparently they did this interview in James Charles's house, and I'll probably use some of the like pretentious rich person details when depicting Charles during editing. <laughs> But anyway, moving on to the next key part of his dialogue, the author here writes, As a very online millennial, I had been long ambiently aware of Charles was also knowing next to nothing about him. The influencer's platonic ideal, bored at home during the pandemic, I watched a drama get and quote-unquote feud that he had with another YouTuber whose name I could never remember, a hilariously non-scandal scandal that possibly had something to do with hair vitamins. I mean, firstly, you know, even I remembered her name. So firstly, uh, stop being facetious. <laughs> Obviously, you might like Charles, but you know Tati's name and you know, e even if you know it's a five second google search you know if anyone did this at their own jobs they'd be fired instantly you know if a guy at bbc weather was like oh we're suffering the hottest temperatures in the entire world right now but you know uh, there, there's this really cold place uh, it's warm white it's full of snow it's not Seem yeah, 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 they'd be fine straight away. Also, interestingly, I love how this author doesn't mention in the pandemic anecdote about uh, the other drama that actually was a uh, pivotal to Charles like losing their career because of reasons. I mean, again, with it like not naming Tati, sh it was literally the biggest drama of his career, and the normal lies response video was like the biggest on his channel. So, uh, yeah, stop being pretentious. The article like moves on and explains his history. Uh, yeah, I also forgot about this one before I read this article because this is actually uh, the first time I'm reading this, and I haven't watched any YouTube videos on it or anything. I just got Bing to summarize like uh, most of this. It mentions his YouTube show Instant Influencer, which obviously got cancelled because uh, I don't think YouTube or like anyone else wants anyone to be famous off the endorsement of James Charles. Hi sisters. Hi sisters. Hi sister. The article then goes on to basically explain the James Charles controversy again, which I think I did a pretty good job at explaining myself. Although I'm not a historian, so uh, go watch some like 10 hour no life essay if you really want to know about that. To like the full extent. Although they do try and paint most of the allegations as uncredible. And again, you know, many of them were again, and Death Doodles was like an absolute idiot. I mean, I guess he's fine now, but his channel's also washed up as hell. So his apology for like lying about everything doesn't really mean anything. And it also not here. But, uh, Charge's response was full throated. That's what she said. <laughs> they seek to describe him as quote unquote irresponsible. I'm reading this article, you know, uh, the, the way they try to make James Charles a quote unquote sympathetic figure is honestly weird. <laughs> like, look, like, look, look, look at this sentence I'm gonna read to you right now. James Charles said that he pocketed a quote unquote small amount from his wolf video that allowed him to buy his house and pay off his parents' mortgage. That's literally the same energy as my father gave me a small loan of a million dollars because. What, what's what about you live in a seven million dollar mansion in LA? And my guy's like, ah, oh, oh my god, I got a small amount from my brother. Shut, shut, shut up. And boo hoo, man, my YouTube channel got demonetized for being a potential predator. Have you seen all the commentary channels who get demonetized for quote unquote reused content? Just a shut up. Moving on, it says that his brother stopped talking to him after the allegations, uh, base. And then the final quarter or so of the article is literally just a James Charles brand recovery mode. The 
tail end of an article is basically just promoting his new makeup line which again I, I don't really care about I'm only making this video like sort of for content and sort of because uh, if anyone deserves a career it's uh, not James Charles it's uh, me but well, one thing I do find interesting is uh, this paragraph here post cancellation he hired a PR firm to help him come back and James apparently said quote they were trying to get me into every single bed and premiere and red carpet and show and I really need to stop saying and so much and every single one of them was a no but he started appearing at some premieres such as the Grammys the Scream 6 movie premiere and uh, <coughs> a cosmopolitan party no wonder they're sucking him off so hard in this article I can't just write in this article that uh, oh James Charles has been accused by 50 different men and then in the next breath be like oh we, we invited him to a party and then make an entire article like promoting his new makeup brand was in seconds like, I can literally point to the hypocrisy because you know uh, I found this article by the executive editor of Cosmopolitan I just searched up their opinions on a Brett Kavanaugh and you know uh, here it is their article the, the thumbnail is literally I believe Dr. Christian Blasey Ford you know uh, the person who only made their allegations about Gates Brett uh, right after he said he was going to be running for the Supreme Court and then dropped them immediately after he was accepted and also had almost no evidence to prove their claims uh yeah that same person and look I'm not bloody Jesus uh, I don't know if that event happened or not but I don't see how you can attack this man based on like significantly weaker evidence but then James Charles who admitted to sending like nude messages to children and like you say in your own article I don't know if I've already mentioned it that you know uh, there's like a uh, 15 or so allegations made against him you're like ah oh, we'll, we'll, we'll invite him to his party and uh, let, let's advocate for his own cancellation I want to see uh, Brett at your next uh, cosmopolitan <laughs> Oh no, I all think that we know he is not coming. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I think my views on the Cosmopolitan article are pretty clear. But what isn't clear is whether or not I should continue doing YouTube. So therefore, you can follow me on X and YouTube where my at is at Helio is online. Everything else including my Twitch, Instagram, Threads and Odyssey are at Heliophobian. Since this is a new channel, I'm not going to have a massive ego. 171,000 likes when I upload my next video. And until then, good night, epic gamers or morning or afternoon or something I, I i don't know how this works i'm not dora i don't care about your time or location or anything